Greetings, viewers, and welcome to yet another episode of Trending Now, where we talk about the latest innovations for professional greenhouse industry. I'm Bill Calkins, a senior editor of Grower Talks and Green Profit Magazine, and I'm really excited to learn about today's product. When we talk about trends, there's nothing more on point these days than efficiency. And now, Hachi Hachi SC is a broad spectrum insecticide from CPRO, and it's all about efficiency and control offering new solutions for powdery and downy mildew, as well as a tool for battling troublesome pests like thrips, aphids, white flies, and more. It's got no known resistance or cross resistance and offers enhanced plant safety. This really sounds like a winner to me, but don't take my word for it. Let's hear from CPRO's resident technical development expert, Dr. Aaron Paul Matier, who's gonna tell you all about Hachi Hachi SC. So Aaron, my friend, the floor is all yours. Hey, Bill. As always, you know, it's it's great to be here and be part of the program. Um, I'm I'm actually particularly excited to talk about a unique product. Became one of my favorites um, after joining CPRO as the technical lead for greenhouse and nursery um, product development. I'm going to share my screen here. And so Hachi Hachi SC, um, first and foremost, it, it is an insecticide, um, uh, but it was initially introduced, or let me back up, Hachi Hachi was initially introduced into the greenhouse nursery market um, as an emulsifiable concentrate or an oil-based formulation. Um, unfortunately, there was some issue uh, with incompatibility and and, and it caused phytotoxicity on some select species of ornamental plants. Um, so CPRO you know, quickly recognized the issue and, and went back and, and, and reformulated the product. And, and now it's it actually, it, it's a suspension concentrate. So this is a water-based formulation. Um, the, and so the, the plant tolerance is much more favorable. Um, you know, no, we're not seeing any more issues um, with phytotoxicity. Um, and, and also the, the nice thing is, is the, the new formulation is, is, uh, hasn't compromised efficacy. So we're still seeing um, the great spectrum of, of activity that this, that this product um, offers. And so uh, I, wanna, I wanna address the, the spectrum that, that the um, product provides. Uh, but before I do that, I wanna mention um, that we do have a vegetable label. Um, it's been received a federal EPA registration for indoor and outdoor use. And so, so that's coming soon. So exciting to, to share that this will also be available uh, for, for greenhouse or for vegetables. Um, so the spectrum of activity, um, first of all, it, it, as long as, as I've been in working in ornamentals, it, it seems that, that thrips um, and especially Western flower thrips have, have just been a consistent problem and a challenge uh, to control, especially in, in greenhouse. Um, and those of you who might know the, the IR4 project, which was established, it's a, it's a federal um, collaboration with, with um, uh, pesticide companies um, in you know, universities, of course, uh, was established to help growers address uh, pest concerns. And as far as I can remember, uh, THRIPS has been on, on the top of that, that priority uh, list. And so when, when Hachi Hachi, uh, um, when it was in development and testing, uh, it was first and foremost identified as, as a very effective thrips product um, and, and also has activity on, on Western flower thrips. And so, um, but I wouldn't be doing my, my job correctly if, if I were to just try to promote Hachi Hachi SC as a, as a thrips product. As you can see on the slide, um, it actually has a, a very broad spectrum of activity. So uh, not only thrips, but, but aphids, scales, including mealybugs, leafhoppers, um, and then, you know, coleopteran insects. So, so that's including your, your beetles and some weevils. So it has activity on redheaded flea beetle. It also has activity on the, on the pepper weevil, Japanese beetle, Colorado potato beetle, 
Um, so solid on, on coleopterans and then also uh, lepidopterans. So, so early instar, meaning, meaning your worms or your caterpillars, uh, the larval stages that, that feed. So, I mean, it, again, just tremendous um, broad spectrum activity. And, and I, I will just mention um, the label indicates uh, suppression of white fly. So it even brings um, a little bit of, of white fly activity um, with the product. But then the other thing um, that's, you know, being, uh, having a strong background in plant pathology uh, really got me excited that, that when, I, when I learned that, that tolfin pyrad, the, the active ingredient, is, is actually also a, a fungicide. So you see there it's labeled for powdery and, and downy mildew. And so tolfin pyrad um, is recognized by the Insecticide Resistance Action Committee as a class 21 insecticide. So there's, it's a mitochondrial electron electron transport inhibitor, which basically disrupts the mitochondria or the, you know, the powerhouse of, of the cell. So cellular respiration. And, and, and so this mode of action essentially targets a broad range of, of insect pests, but this also includes some fungi and oomycetes. So oomycetes, or fungi being powdery mildew, oomycetes being downy mildew. And so tolfin pyrad uh, is actually a, a frac group 39. Um, so this just, again, this just brings more, more value to the product when you've got, you know, one, one tool that, that not only controls insect pests, but also can, can help you uh, control powdery and, and downy mildew. Um, the, the other thing I, I will mention, um, the, the active uh, is not systemic, so it works on contact. Um, but again, broad spectrum material. Um, if you're using it in a or on a host, like let's just say roses that that are susceptible to both thrips and downy mildew and, and powdery mildew at that, um, you know, you would just you know put it. It, it could be standalone, uh, but it would be best used in in a rotation with other fungicides. And it, and what this does, this essentially just offers another novel mode of action, um, both as an insecticide and, and a fungicide. So, um, you know, crops like Gerber's, they get powdery mildew. Again, I already mentioned roses, viburnum, they get downy mildew, um, and, and then also uh, insect pests. Um, this is kind of like a one, one, two punch that, that plays in both worlds. So re really excited about, about Hachi Hachi SC. Um, and also, um, excited by the, by the fact that it's going to be a tool not only for the ornamentals, but for those of you who are growing uh, vegetables in a greenhouse, this will be a product that you can go across the board. You don't have to swap out and, and, and change, change products. And so just that just adds the flexibility and ease of use. So um, with that, I, I want to just, uh, there's a lot more information um, on this product. Uh, I've got a QR code here on the slide. Um, so I encourage everyone to, to get out and, and uh, scan the code, read more about the product. There's technical bulletins. Um, I'd be happy to provide uh, research-based results, uh, both as an insecticide and as a, a fungicide uh, for Hachi Hachi SC. This is exciting. I mean, I, I can see why as a, as a pest and disease guy, you're excited about it. And, you know, the more growers I talk to, the more, you know, these kind of problems pop up every single year and having another tool in the toolbox is uh, excellent, excellent uh, news. I think for, for everybody in the industry, this really does sound like a winner. Um, such a multifaceted tool, all these benefits. So Aaron, really thank you so much for sharing this information. Uh, you showed the QR code there, and we will also put a link to that information in the video description so folks can uh, can look into uh, all this information and research on their own. And if they do want to reach out to you, uh, what, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Yeah, absolutely. The email uh, works great. It's, it's pretty easy. It's just Aaron, A-A-R-O-N-P at Cipro, S-E-P-R-O dot com. So shoot me an email anytime, don't hesitate, and I'd be happy to provide additional information or help where I can.
Awesome. Awesome. And I definitely encourage the, the viewers, all, all of you watching to reach out. Uh, Aaron is a great resource and uh, someone you want on your side uh, when you go out there to battle these greenhouse issues. So on behalf of Aaron Palmatier and the entire team at CPRO, I'm Bill Calkins with Grower Talks and Green Profit, wishing you all the best in the upcoming season. Take care out there.